We're here with Cal from Gresham International. How are you today, Cal? I'm good. How are you guys? I'm well. So tell me about how it's going so far at the Expo today. Uh, it's fantastic. It's always great to be back here with the WBS event. Um, the Atlantis is such a great venue. And uh, the one thing I really like about this event is it attracts such a diverse crowd. So it's cool to see a few of the familiar faces, but great to meet so many new people. Definitely. And so tell me, what does a lawyer like yourself look to do at these types of events? Sure. Um, networking is the name of the game at events like this. Um, the crypto industry and the digital asset industry is a little bit incestuous, but it's the friendly kind of incestuous. So it's always good to see and catch up with people that you know. Um, but for me personally, it's great to get a pulse on the latest things that's happening in the industry. Because Dubai attracts so many international people, you really get some kind of first-hand information on what people are seeing over the globe. And so tell me about what have you heard and about those latest trends that you're looking into more? Yeah, um, it's interesting to see the transition of um, kind of thoughts and feelings when it moves across the globe. Uh, for example, if we talk to people from the US at the moment, everybody's quite negative. It's quite doom and gloom. Um, if you talk to people in Asia, there seems to be a very positive outlook. Um, and somewhere in the middle is the GCC region where it's it's always sunny. You know, there's a joke, it's it's always sunny in, in the GCC in more than one way. Is that what they say, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so um, look, it's, it's great to see that transition. But what I'm hearing is, um, you know, people that are trying to manage the fallout of a lot of the bad news that we've seen recently. Um, that is a reality that's been happening and how companies are looking to perhaps adapt their strategies for some turbulent times coming up. And what is that advice or counsel that you offer your clients when it comes to easing their worries and concerns? Absolutely. Look, be, being a lawyer is a twofold job, right? It's part entrepreneur, part babysitter. Um, so we have to be able to help clients. We have to be able to look after them. So we're very pragmatic and I try and be very realistic. Strengthen things, that's the name of the game. Strengthen your positions, strengthen your protections and strengthen that balance sheet. Um, you know, I'm, I'm quoted as saying, it's something I'm known to say, you know, look, crypto is like the ocean. It's very kind of rough and ready, but nobody ever got anywhere exciting by sitting at the same pool all the time. So you've just got to be able to expand on that analogy and be able to manage some rough seas. Okay, and what about when it comes to scams and frauds? from the little ones to the FTXs of the world. As a lawyer, what? how do you see the future of, of crypto and blockchain when it comes to legal matters? Yeah, great question. Um, look, there is a, again, to stick in the vein of sayings, right? There's a saying that whenever technology evolves, so too do the bad guys. And that's what we've seen a lot in the crypto and digital asset space. Um, you will never be able to get rid of bad actors. You will never be able to get rid of bad people. But what you can do is make sure that you don't either give them an avenue or participate in it. So what we see a lot is we see a lot with companies that do the basics, you know, deploy your KYC, make sure you manage your AML, that's know your client anti-money laundering. They seem like really archaic and really oppressive rules, but if you think about it logically, just checking where money's coming from and checking where people are doing things isn't as intrusive as you think it might be, and it gives a lot of people protection. Um, so I always say to people, look, step up, be part of the community, but don't be afraid to also be a champion and defend it at the same time as well. Okay, I like that. And of course, being optimistic like yourself helps as well. <laughs> of course. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, thank you, Cal. Thank you so much.